Mental health problems affect one in four of us. Join mind now in the fight for mental health. A donation of £20 could help 167 people take their first steps in getting mental health support through Minds Booklets. £40 could help keep Minds a supportive online community side by side, open for another hour, helping to connect people and feel less alone. Good morning and welcome everyone to the live stream. Um, it's the third uh, live stream. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit of a frog in my throat. It is the third live stream in a series of live streams in aid of mind. My name is Peripheral Mike and this is a going to be a live stream of Bear and Breakfast, which is going to be a very, very relaxing game. It's basically, you play as a grizzly bear who starts a bed and breakfast in the woods. It's right up my alley. Um, but for anyone who's not been tuning in to the live stream so far, these are all in aid of Mind, the mental health charity in the UK. We're hoping to raise a £1,000 within 15 hours. We're now at the last five hour block of these live streams. Um, big shout out to some of the anonymous donations we had overnight. We've had a couple of donations that has taken us to a total of £220. So if you're able to donate, that's absolutely fantastic. If you're not, don't feel pressured to. Um, obviously, cost of living is rising everywhere, so don't do yourself out of money that you don't have. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing uh, some bear and breakfast, which I actually didn't change on the uh, bear and breakfast. Didn't change on Twitch. There we go. <coughs> so that should now be changed on Twitch. So if anyone's interested in bear and breakfast, they'll be able to find the stream. Um, so I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I've got some coffee. I've got a cat who is plodding around. Um, I've got some uh, water, and yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna go good. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. Ah, Focal Horizon eight nine nine. Hello. Hope you all. I hope I'm well this morning. I am well this morning. I slept really well, like astonishingly well last night. Um, so we, we had we had dinner with family. Um, I had a couple of drinks in the pub. Uh, we came back, had some wine. I'm just like I I went to bed thinking, oh, I'm really full of food and booze. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I might not sleep very well because now I'm I'm knackered. I slept like a log. And speaking of logs, let's load up bear and breakfast. <laughs> that was a nice segue, wasn't it? Update later. Why have I clicked on Max and Max Two? All games. No, not wish list. No, own games. <laughs> Don't need to share my wish list online. It's fine. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Where is it? Bear and breakfast. There it is. Pow. So solid. Thank you to everyone who's tuning in to um, Potion Craft yesterday. Also, big thank you to Kitsune Tioku. Uh, Kizune Tiyuki, sorry, who followed. I don't know why I didn't get a notification that you followed, but I'm going to try and keep um, my uh, notification ticker up now so that I can switch between the two. Because, fun fact, I purchased a cable yesterday, because of course I did, it's me. So I can now have um, multiple screens. So I've now got a gameplay screen and two additional support screens um, when I am. Oh, let me just turn the music off. There we go when I am streaming, which is helpful. How is volume? Volume looks good. Yeah, volume looks good. <laughs> I love the logo for this dev, it's just a cat but... <laughs> so if I... Actually, I don't need that one. If I have that one... Do I? This makes no sense to anybody watching the live stream, but I'm just, I'm just doing window management at this point. There we go. Because also one of the things about plugging in and unplugging cables is all my windows on my desktop were just like, oh, you've got them all in a nice position. Oh, you've changed the cable. <laughs> Let's just stack them all on top of each other. 
So this is bare and breakfast. Uh, also tired, you're still working nights. It's 2 a.m. here, says Phil the Horizon, and I'm feeling it tonight. It's all good though, your stream will keep me going. I've got four hours to go. Well, we'll be able to get through to the end of your shift, which is amazing. I hope, oh, well, hopefully this isn't so chill that it starts to send you to sleep. Um, I mean, I like that, you know, that's the sort of vibe that it would give off, but hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, it's, it helps you get through your shift. But thank you for joining us. Um, start game, are there multiple? Yes, there are. So I played this for a little bit, um, just to figure out what it was like. Uh, I'll be honest, I skipped all of the dialogue. So that's going to be interesting to see how long that takes with the dialogue. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? Uh, space advance, X skip. Space advance. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Mom's gonna kill me. <sighs> Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. Turning rain rain noise out of it. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything felt dark and silent again, except for the rain. It's a very dramatic introduction. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. <laughs> Four had moments like that. Hello. I can't move. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. W A S D to move around. <laughs> well, that's convenient. <laughs> I didn't realise the, the tutorial was quite so funny. Find. You mean like an introspection thing? It's just going to be like a literally find a thing. Bed. There it is. Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll take a nap in a deathbed. <laughs> How do you nap? E to interact. E. Don't. <laughs> You're not great at making your mind up. <laughs> this is what I would be like. <laughs> Wake. Ooh. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. A solid plan. For the third time. Hank. <laughs> Uh-oh. Better see what's up. <clears throat> Look at a delightful cave. Cave in the woods. Bear in the woods. Oh, that chair. Whew. Can I go in here? Nope. Oh, I can't go in there either. Is it this way? Oh, it's this way. Yeah. Hello. I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> that feels like me this morning. Oh, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time we get a little extra sleep. Besides. Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Same. <laughs> Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> Great. What what a stereotypical past generational thing to say. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, well. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in a room with Will, probably. I'll go wake him up. All right, Annie. Uh, the basics. While in adventure mode, you can control Hank using a WASD and walk around the world. You can zoom in with the camera wheel. Good, got that. You can interact with E. 
except I can't interact. I, I really wanted to sit in that chair a second ago. Oh. Light down, light off, light down, light off. I'm going to break that if I'm not careful. So if something appears interactable, I can interact with it, otherwise I can't. Uh, uh, the basics. The game uses an auto feature. Do not exit the game while this animation of a thinking bear is displayed. For more options, consult the settings menu. <coughs> you can access the game settings, achievements and more through the pause menu. Where's the pause menu? Oh, there's the pause menu. Temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit. I can't remember what temperature I am, I'll be honest with you. Hey, good morning, Centaria. How are you today? Progression checker. How do I... Well, fair enough. Um... Yeah, all seems good. Did I say wake up? No, walk up. Okay, cool. Resume. That's it. That's the basics. What's this game called? I somehow completely missed the title. Uh, it's called Bear and Breakfast. Ooh, that's an excellent point, actually. I forgot to, in my um, uh, rush to get this ready, I, and make coffee and feed cats, etc., I forgot to update the game command. So thank you for that. Bear, let me just put music back on a second. Bear and Breakfast. Uh, oh, I need it on Gog. Gog. Bear and breakfast on Gog. Thank you for that. I completely forgot about that. Um, chatbot. In chat commands. Custom commands. Oops. Custom commands. Uh, edit. Bear and breakfast. Uh, no, not potion craft. That's not the right one I want. Copy. Paste. There we go. And breakfast. Yeah, I've spelled breakfast, right? Safe. So now. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Lovely. Through the power of technology. Yep. Uh. God, get out! <laughs> Classic. Money out. <laughs> that's not very good morning of you. It's, that's not very lo-fi gaming of you. Hmm. Focalizing, yes, absolutely, Simon. I saw, I saw that. So I've changed it. Uh, I've changed the game on um, Twitch now. So, unfortunately, the, the thing has gone out to say I'm playing Potion Craft, but the, the game actually has now changed to uh, Bear and Breakfast. But thank you for that. That was completely on me. Um, I was just running a little late this morning. Well, I say late. I woke up normally, uh, fed the cats, made some coffee, came upstairs, and suddenly realized it was like two minutes past eight. So I'm like, oh, quick, press go live, and then I'll set up, you know, lights, camera, everything. Lights, camera, action. Um forgetting that I need to update the, the thing, the uh, title and game command. I should leave myself like a sticky note somewhere. Or make some sort of like automation routine whenever I press the go live button, because I've got it on my stream deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Centaria. I've got it on my stream deck. Maybe when I press the, like, the go live button, it just, a little pop-up comes up going, now, have you changed the game command? Have you changed the title? <laughs> There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. <laughs> what do you mean? I can smell them a mile away. Hmm, delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Hmm, digging a new hole next to the other holes. Actually, Mum said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. Oh, what'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. <laughs> How can we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. <laughs> We're not allowed past the fence anymore. I am a bear and I'm digging a hole. Absolutely, Centaria. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. 
You're on his side now? <laughs> it's morning. We're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes. <laughs> never comes from your enemies. <laughs> I, I feel really bad. I never, I never listened to the dialogue of this, um, of this game when I played it. I so I like, skipped it all so I could see what the gameplay was like. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. I'm coming. <laughs> I didn't realize how funny it was. Ooh, I've got another thing here. Oh, here we go. Show tutorial. Um, adventure mode. In adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Your inventory is accessed through your adventure mode menu. It holds every item you'll find in the world. And you can use filters and organize button to sort through items magically. Or throw away whatever you don't use in the delete slot. Cool. The mini map displays your current location, day, time, and allows you to navigate the world. Lovely. Eat, what is denim anyway? It's <laughs> a good question. Ooh. Uh, ooh, what's this? Large bramble heap. Can I take anything? No, oh, clear the way. Oh, I need loggers' tools to clear the way. Okay. Isn't that the middle of the night? It's quite a pleasant place. To be honest with you. Dee 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 dee. Ah. There's not going to be any, like, mega hyper secrets. Ooh, are they mushrooms? No. Mega hyper secrets in the first screen, so. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on foliage. What is this? Giant statue. Hello, honey. We'll stay up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. <laughs> God. I don't know, I fell asleep halfway through. Where is he? There he is. We're a tiny character, Will. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. <laughs> no one's bothering them about flying. I'm literally walking here. Hello. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep alright? It was good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. Alright, point me to the hole. To black moss. <gasps> what? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here. This is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. The notebook. The legendary notebook. <laughs> You've received the notebook. Awesome. <laughs> but don't lose it again. I won't. He will. <laughs> we will. <laughs> All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and then straight back. <clears throat> Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. Right, where are we going? Uh, okay, collectibles. You just, uh, you just got the notebook, which is a collectible item. Collectibles are special items that unlock for your character that give you various perks. Uh, you can find... <gasps> Look at his hat! You can find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. Yeah, notebook. A half-empty notebook, ready to be filled with the stuff you shouldn't forget. First page says, to my love, always tracking quests. Uh, allows tracking quests, sorry, not always tracking Always, to my love, always tracking quests. You can now access your quest log from the menu bar, which is... Oh, this one. Quests. Down to Black Moss Hole. To your surprise, Margaret has asked you... Margaret... <laughs> the mum by their first name. Margaret has asked you to travel to southeast, uh, southeast to Black Moss. Once there, you should look for a bush of alligator weed. Go to Black Moss through the thicket. And I'm currently tracking that, and that's the arrow on the mini, me mini menu, mini map. It's, it's very early. <laughs> ah, 
collectibles. It shows your current quests, allows you to track them, and finds objectives using the arrow indicator. Lovely. Quests which lead you towards finishing the main story will always be flagged. Okay. Which I assume is yeah, so that's a main a main quest. Cool. It's a good way of putting a main quest. <laughs> is that is that the military symbol for major? <laughs> that denotes it as a major quest. <laughs> uh, collectibles. Uh, quest status icons will display over characters. Orange means available, blue means in progress, and green means ready. Excellent. Blue means in progress. Ready? <laughs> Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, that's fleas. You strike me as a real leave the gun and take the cannoli kind of guy. <laughs> uh, which way are we going? What's this? Can't read what it says. So we're going this way, through the woods, through the woods, na, 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 through the woods. You can barely make your way around in the dark. I like what you did there. I'd like to sign up to your newsletter. <laughs> I can barely see anything. No going past the fence. If I take one more step, it's the furthest from home I've ever been. If I take one more step, it's the furthest from home I'll have ever been. If I take one more... I'll stop that now. <laughs> that was a reference. Has anyone ever seen the uh, the cut of Lord of the Rings? Where someone's... Every time Samwise Gamgee takes a step further than when he initially says, If I take one more step, it's the furthest from home I've ever been. Every time he takes a step, they splice that line in. <laughs> it means the movie's like nine hours long. <laughs> Like, the, just the first movie is like nine hours long, it's amazing. Ah, delicious coffee. The three, the three friends found themselves further than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadow and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie... The Karelian dog, brave but clumsy. Will, the poor Will, grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear, cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he'd made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in, in an adventurous fashion. I promise. <laughs> but if he bears with it, I'll become clear. I'm loving the bear puns. Oh, so soothing my soul. Alright, gang. Sp <laughs> spread out. <laughs> Absolutely. Chat should be full of bear puns. <laughs> oh, no. I've got... Oh. I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> I guess right. I've gone back to the thicket by accident. Oh, oh it, it, well, I suppose it's a swamp. I can't really walk over all of it. So. Hello, Will. You strike me as a real leave the gun to. Oh, okay. So you just, you're going to say the same things, aren't you? Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. Yeah, I'm gonna get away from you now. <laughs> Tire screech. <laughs> what in the what? I heard it too. We better go. But we haven't found the thing for your mum yet. And with Hank, let's see where the sound came from. That's not what I meant. <laughs> We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said get some gate weed. We haven't found it yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No, come back. <laughs> oh, poor Hank. What was this? That's one big rock. That is one big rock. You're right. I've never seen a transparent rock before. That's impressive. Ooh, something shiny. 
There, let me through, let me through. I want the shiny. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Ooh, something else shiny. I can't get through to any of these shinies. <laughs> There's so many shinies over there. Okay. I'll go through the tutorial. Maybe I'll get the shinies later. To Timber Crossing. Do, 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 do. I'm going to guess it's a bus. Timber Crossing. Follow your friends completed. Mm hmm. Interesting. We have. Oh, hello. The luxurious outhouse. <laughs> Oh, I found an interesting building. Oh, hello. Yoink. <laughs> I will take everything. Loot. <laughs> Delicious loot. <laughs> I'll have this for the garbage collection. Take everything. <laughs> Just ransacked an abandoned building. Yoink. What's this? Uh, probably shouldn't do that just yet. If it, oh, hello. Someone left all this timber here. Do you have any idea how expensive timber is? A uh, bench. All that's missing is a picnic basket. <laughs> What's up here? A road road. I'm not going to go over the road road. The road road feels um, dangerous. And uh, as far as I can see, there's nothing shiny over the other side of the road. Oh, the road goes over there as well. Oh, is that a car park? Right, come on, let's go over the road. Ooh, what's this? No, oh, it's just an abandoned building. The, a raccoon in the background. Hello. Who are you? <coughs> Professional trash docker at your disposal. At your garbage disposal, that is. Love it. I can't open this yet. Okay. <laughs> trash, 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 trash. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Consume all of the garbage. Wow, this bit's pretty big. Ooh, more stuff. I'm not sure why I need all of this stuff, but I, I mean, it's collectible, so you should be careful with it, otherwise, he might get poorly. <laughs> ah, see what you did there, Simon. Oh, I can't open this yet. Okay. I'm... Ooh. Oh, I can't I can't steal the traffic cones. What's this? Oh, I can't open this yet either. Okay. Can I scavenge anything else? Buses. Uh, I don't think I could handle the bus life. <laughs> this is fair. Oliver's desk. I'm stealing someone's pen on a string. It's a quest item. Cool. <laughs> I can't help but feel they should have put some sort of like barrier around me <laughs> to stop me just going off and just chaos stealing everything. <laughs> What's this? Give me your stuff. Hello, Oliver. I thought you were a puppet for a second. Of course, I know who's been stealing my sandwiches. This week it's lettuce and bologna. I hope they like it. What a, what a very friendly thing to say. I don't think I could bear how friendly you are. <laughs> what's this? To the A24. Oh, boy. Ooh, what's that? Nope, oh, just a log. Sometimes a log is just a log. Sometimes it's not, but sometimes a log is just a log. That's what I always say. It's an exit. Ooh, wood. Mm. Delicious wood. And then hopefully through this game we'll be able to discover if once we get this a bear taking trash from a trash can is quite realistic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, once we get this uh, repaired, this luxurious outhouse, we'll be able to answer the question, does a pear bear poop in the woods? Does a pear... God. Does a pear boop in the woods? 
All right, what's going on? Itchy fur just means. Oh, okay. I, I need to speak to this. Finn, nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it to his boss. What? The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. The little grey speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Porn Voyage. Nothing weird about that at all. <laughs> uh, hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing, escape, electrifying enterprise. Is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the orange coat. Yeah, I'm pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. Well, I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. Is that an Among Us character? <laughs> Don't forget, this is a good opportunity to hydrate if you have a drink with you. It's very important. I have something in my left eye. It's not my finger. It's a hundred percent a mimic. <laughs> How exactly are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> Hank's trying to autosave. Porn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. But what the? Novering secured touristry adjacent touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewellery or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have an expensive or an heirloom. <laughs> or an heirloom, he just said. <clears throat> Porn Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? It's for millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location and premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holiday they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees. They try to forget whatever they're running from. God, I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. Humans, true. Well, humans are whack. Uh, if you or a friend or a friend would, if you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to to become a porn voyage premium premises, by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, <laughs> and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. Oh wow, it's night time already. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shock right, I'm pretty sure he wants, he wants I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. <laughs> is he an Airbnb spokesman? Yeah, <laughs> this is an Airbnb scheme. All I heard were the humans are coming back. Well, the money has to be has to get here somehow. Humans, I've barely seen one in months, and there's more, and that's more than enough. Hello, did you not see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength. My foolproof understanding of all things, and Spoil Sport's cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> I, I relate to Hank quite a lot. 
human back money give good <laughs> I'm gonna be honest <laughs> it's anything other than good <laughs> look just go tell the shark we're in we'll just use any broken down shed they're all abandoned anyway already uh, visibility within an adventure mode menu you have two additional options Pow. Visibility. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances time. And visibility. If you'd like to see the inside of most buildings, you can lower the roofs and walls. Cool. Boop. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. Boop. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. <laughs> Sounds like every sponsorship deal I've ever been given. <laughs> By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? <laughs> well, I used to look at pictures of houses in the magazine we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? <laughs> no, I don't think that could sit. They're fragile and get scared easy. <laughs> That's true. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. Yeah, you do. And I do not get scared that easy. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we need to bother him. He's too busy promoting Frosties. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left Sawdust, or go see, go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Alright, cool. Go to, saw, go to Sawdust. Where's Sawdust? Oh, Sawdust is through here. It's real dark. Do, do, do. Let's go to Sawdust. Yeah, this all seems perfectly legit and above board. There's nothing, there's nothing shady about this deal. Sawdust. What is this? Ooh, a bus station. Unlocks fast travel. Cool. Ooh, a collectible. Um, num, 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 num. Mm, delicious resources. What is that noise? <laughs> That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. <laughs> mm, more resources. Mm, more resources. Nom, 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 nom. People just keep leaving this perfectly cut, polished timber just lying around. Is this is this like the remnants of a B and Q warehouse? <gasps> More timber. Oh, I honestly have just forgotten where I'm going because I'm just I'm just like <gasps> DIY materials. The art style reminds me a bit of Don't Starve. It yeah, a little bit. Oh. Oh, that's stairs. Oh, I see. Um, num, num, num. What's up here then? Is this like a ranger station? <gasps> the moon. Oh, hello. <laughs> Being afraid of heights just means you haven't seen everything that's down there yet. Uh, okay. Honestly, don't know where that voice came from, but. Is there anything? Just. <laughs> <laughs> the bear just wanders into here and then you're like, yeah, okay. Ooh, the sun is rising again. Find Tony, oh, Tony the beaver. Although there's not a lot of music at night. Like, not that it makes it spooky or anything, but it's just like, it's night time, it's quiet. Here's Tony's. More wood. What's the benefit of sleeping? Uh, that's a good question. Sleep the night? Oh. <laughs> I assumed there'd be a confirmation screen. <laughs> I was wrong. 
Is there a time? Or does it just tell me... I don't think there's a time. I think the benefit is it becomes lighter and it progresses time. So like if things take take some days to complete, then it you know you, you can quite easily ooh, um, progress time. I don't so not nothing really. Best sleeps faster than I can. <laughs> this is what I was saying yesterday. Oh hi Sharon Riddick, how are you? This is what I was saying yesterday, if you wanted one superpower from any video game, I'd like the ability to choose when and how long I sleep, like in Morrowind or Skyrim. <laughs> now let's go, I can't, I, I'm just Hoover, I'm such a loot Hoover. I, mean, I, I want that washing machine. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, why not simply punch the trees? <laughs> I knew I could take this. <laughs> Nothing like recycling. The record for you falling asleep was 30 seconds. Wow, that's impressive. I can I can fall asleep pretty pretty quickly, but that's very impressive. Hey, up, Tony. By God, a bear! It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk. <clears throat> Uh, I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? No, I've, I've looted all of your wood. <laughs> well, actually, my friends and I were wondering... An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone... Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh... A redwood plaque for your fish? <laughs> he says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well, we haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. 100%. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. Felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would, would you, uh, would you, would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh, how wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, ooh, a couple of stacks of pine. <coughs> I guess I'll have to make it with my bare hands. I like what you did there, Centaria. More bear puns, more bear puns. <laughs> Fetch those for me, will you? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow! <laughs> materials. You can interact with materials in the world to loot their contents. Yeah, I figured that one out. Um, press E again when the container... Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can split stacks for multiple items. Cool. Materials. Scavenging is one of the main ways for you to obtain materials. Certain materials will respawn periodically in expected locations. Wood will be found near trees, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump and so on. Store any extra materials in the stash near the Pawn Voyage car. Oh, the bin. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, mallet. Oh, oh, more wood. <laughs> just, just lay some more wood out. Ooh, hello, Phoenix. <laughs> Oh my god, just jumped onto the desk and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Say hello to the boys and girls. Hello! <laughs> Good, you're not eating your brother's food. That's awesome. Cat turning every game to a horror game. Yeah, pretty much. Let's get this calls for boop, 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 some emotes. And now you are... You are right in the way of the screen, buddy. 
just right in the middle of my screen and we're going to have to be like this. Take all. Good. Some more wood. You just, you just respawned all of the materials. I just yoinked. This is amazing. This feels like an exploit. Ooh, I can go under, I can go through here. <laughs> I can't see, Phoenix. <laughs> I wonder where this, where this tree, this, well, wait, I wonder where a tree this big could fit. Here. That's where it could fit. Ooh, there's stuff up here as well. Oh, hello. Oh, you, you are here. There's mushrooms out there. They say you can give you the worst nightmares. I could sure go for some right now. Well, weird. It's, a, it's an odd thing to say. What this? Oh, I need prospector's gear for the large rock slide. Okay. Can't do that right now. Troll capture, troll seeker. Oh, could you just, just could do? Do you know what I, you know what I want? Terrifying nightmares. That's what I want. Have I picked up your stuff? Oh, I have. I have picked up your stuff. Yeah, of course I have. <clears throat> so, did you find all the wood? Yep, got it right here. Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> uh, thanks, I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Now, I am heading to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. But could, I, could you sit here and watch? Is that possible? Hello? Hi. You look very tired because you've just eaten all your food. If I move my Go XLR slightly out of the way, this is all going to end horribly. You've opened my calculator somehow. I'm not sure how that's happened. <laughs> there we go. Now don't sit on the keyboard. Come on, this way. That's it, that'll do. You can watch. <laughs> it's really funny watching you read around the cat. Thanks. <laughs> What you need is a decoy keyboard. I what I need is a decoy screen. <laughs> right, let's... i tell you what. Let's do what we were doing. Let's have the OBS window here. There we go. So you can at least watch something moving on screen. There you go. I just have to sort of look around the cat. <laughs> I have full range of motion. I just need to look around the car. I'm not. Oh, I left loot. Oh. Oh, it's small here that looks like a laptop. Interestingly, they don't mind the laptop too much, but Phoenix is definitely, definitely um, interested in uh, screens at the minute. No, no, look at this one. Look <laughs> at. This one, right there. There you go. Good lad. Yes, all of this is wonderful. And we're going to use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you bought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First, you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. <clears throat> already did that. I think I can do that. Already did that. <laughs> did you clean up the shed? Yep. Great. Now, we'll have to use this old workbench. Oh, don't. I'm gonna, am I going to have to have my keyboard on my knee? Is this a thing? I'm going to have to have my keyboard on my knee. That's fine. My mouse I can't have on my knee, though. No, we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You'll need some place <laughs> to make it work. <laughs> the table next to the tree, Hank. <laughs> this is not working, Phoenix. <laughs> I need you just to <laughs> Oh, you've put a, a a link in. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, bear with it. No, no, that's fine. It's just because we sometimes get um, spam bots. Uh, how do... Can I allow you to post links? Uh, how do allow post link? How do allow post link? I 
how to allow post links. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know how to allow links. I'm very sorry. That might be a, a setting on a different screen. A setting in a different castle. Yeah, apologies for that. Uh, deleted messages. No. Yeah, sorry about that. I must have disabled those a while ago because of spam bots. Uh, grab some wood and put it together while I tidy up the place. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to have a look into that. I could just make you a mod, to be honest with you. I could do with some mods. Obviously, that's a that's a conversation to be had, rather than like, Hey, you, you're now my mod. Oh, I need three pinewood planks. I happen to have 73 pinewood planks. Fine, I'll move my mouse out of the way as well, so you can you can just <laughs> allows building and crafting in the area. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Awesome, you can can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Lovely. I'm just gonna sleep because it's dark. There we go. Did you get the workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. That's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. While they're doing that, I'm just going to hydrate. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Yeah, this is one of those things. But this this is none of those things, but it'll do. Uh, stock update. Pawn Voyage has new items available. Awesome. And congratulations, you've unlocked a new crafting recipe for a shabby pallet bed recipe. An event hipster pallet bed recipe. Very popular these days. Go make one at the workbench. Okay. This is the kind of game that I just glance over, but it seems pretty good. It does. I, I tell you what, the writing is good in it. <laughs> and we haven't even scratched the surface yet. We're, only, we're less than an hour in. Uh, crafting items. Once repaired, the workbench is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. To craft functional furniture, use the workbench to enter the crafting menu. Functional objects are specific to room types and are crafted from materials. Okay. Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms. Toilets give hygiene and belong in bathrooms, etc. Once you're done, exit build mode by using the exit button. Learn new, <coughs> excuse me, learn new blueprints from quests or by buying them and interacting with them to learn recipes. Buy more blueprints at the Pawn Voyage, Pawn Voyage shop as they become available. So I wonder, just before I do anything, exit the crafting menu. Let's just go to the Pawn Voyage shop. Toilets belong in bathrooms, got it, yep. Oh, you've got a shabby wooden pallet bed. I Do I not have that? I thought I had that. A simple wardrobe and a wooden footrest. Coins. Where's my coins? Oh, there they are. 250. Spite Phoenix's face. Uh, let's see. I thought I just received that. Do I have an inventory? Did I just learn that already? I might have learned that already. Oops. Uh, crafting. Build room inventory crafting. Yeah, crafting. There we go. So this needs one plywood plank and one cotton sheet. Increases for five comfort and two decoration. Build. Is that the build button? That looks like a build button. 
That's a build button. <laughs> Good, so we have built that. That's our inventory. Build a room. Build a comfort room. Build a bedroom. How do... Oh! Oh, I see! We can just... There's the bedroom. And I need a door. Is this the door? The door. Lovely. And now bed. How do you rotate? How do you rotate? How do you rotate? Can I replace the whole weight? No, I get that. I just need... To, ah, it's R. Of course it is. R for rotate. There we go. A bedroom. Bedroom. Minimum size 2 by 3 That's fine. Doors and bed. We've built our bedroom! There you go. Mm, you can make a bed using the workbench. Come back when you've got one. Oh, I... oh. God damn it. Can I just pick this up? Oh, so you're gonna make me make another one. So I have one in my inventory. Yeah. Were you able to make that bed? Yep, got it right here. <laughs> I didn't think it could look worse than the schematic. But here we are. <laughs> I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. <laughs> Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. Yeah, already, already done that. <laughs> Way ahead of you. So, were you able to make the bedroom? Yes, sir. Stains it all. <laughs> Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You, you encourage weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around them they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about this. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front front of the house that tells them where to go. <laughs> and a little black book to keep records for the shark. Ah, uh, yes. Here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. <laughs> and he's just so happy. He is. He's just, he's just so cheery all the time. <laughs> you've unlocked a new crafting recipe for front desk. Okay, sweet. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. So I'm making it and putting it down this time. Uh, crafting. I need a front desk. Uh, just, need, oh, just four pieces of wood. Lovely. It does nothing. <laughs> uh, inventory? Inventory. Front desk. What's, where's the front of this desk? Uh, rotate. I don't know what the front of the desk is. What's the, the the dotted line? Is that the front? Is that the... Uh, I don't know. Let's have it there. I don't know if that's the right way around or not. It doesn't feel like it's the right way around. That feels like it's the right way around. Can I have it a step closer? No, no, I can't. Oh, it's actually on the house. There we are. Uh, exit. <coughs> Hello. Did you place the front desk? Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. <laughs> Such a fast learner. <laughs> Tony is so gearing up to be Hank's stepdad. It's a hundred percent. Fun fact, when I played this, I bought a bunch of the recipes before building a room and then found out that building the room costs more money than I had. Oh no! Oh no, Sharon. Uh Hank is just hankering for some fun. It's not that great. It took me forever, and there's barely anything in there. Are they even going to like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God, Hank. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Hank, Hank is me pre-therapy. Phoenix has moved. I'm still using my uh, lap to put my keyboard on. Shark boy is going to get high. 
Go tell Shark Boy. Tell him we've got his joint ready. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's a bit early for that. <laughs> Pawn by I fin. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Uh, grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. Beep boop. Hello. We'd like to have some humans over. <laughs> Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on the Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. <laughs> so, yeah. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you ask think. All he knew for sure was that his mom would always say, keep your distance. So much for that. We've been gone for days. <laughs> nice, you get Airbnb guests. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. <laughs> Simply accept your first guest through the front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. All right. I'm not sure this is what they're expecting. Is it this? Is it? Yes, good, thank God. That is correct. <clears throat> ah, Dinky Shed, Timber Crossing. Ooh, I can have multiple resorts. Uh, one bedroom, no active guests. Details. Uh, bedroom, oh, guest request and reviews. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, resort decorations, two, prestige level one. It's the first time I've ever had a prestige level in any game. Guest request, uh, Marlon Leonard. Uh, can I click on this person? Wants to stay for two days. What does this mean? Comfort three, decoration three. Guest request, the amount of guest requests you get each day. Uh, sure, I accept. Uh, Dinky shared bedroom one. I'll assign you to bedroom one. Request accepted. Uh, Marlon Leonard will arrive tomorrow morning at Timber Crossing. Excellent. Guest management. The front desk can be used to manage your resort. <clears throat> the resort overview panel will show you the active resorts you've discovered. Wait, what resort overview panel? Oh, when I'm on the on the desk screen. Guest management. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning new guests will request to stay in your resort. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Oh, so these are their demands. Got it. Using the accept button to accept a guest request. Assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. Try to match the bedroom scores with the guest demands for better reviews and payouts. Uh, you can get more guest requests per day by repairing monuments. Interesting. Uh, while you're off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Awesome. Um, so what am I doing now? Am I going back to uh, Finn? Review zero stars, no Wi-Fi in the woods. <laughs> Press the green button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands, as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology has been able sadly an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Cool. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just sleep. <laughs> just pass out on the floor. One guest arrived at one of your resorts. And we have a new stay request as well. Webby. Oh, there's our. There's our guest. <laughs> He's just like, ah, bear! <laughs> Lovely.
<laughs> oh, the humans are just like, no, oh, I'm a bear. Oh, there's a bear in the place. <laughs> oh. Oh, unlocks fast travel. Got it. Back. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> One star bears all over the place. Couldn't get a good night's sleep. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures of stuff. Oh, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I've taken pictures of stuff. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alert. Alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I, I don't... Prestige. Oof. That means that your decoration levels for your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. But it looks just like my room. <clears throat> In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. This is no time to snack. What an uncomfortable sentence. <laughs> Raise the property prestige level to a satisfactory degree, uh, to a satisfying degree before returning. Uh, okay, prestige is the sum of all decoration scores across a resort. Your resort's prestige score can now be found in the resort overview panel. Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects have a decoration score, either positive or negative. Okay, so what can we... Let's go build a thing. What, what have we got? <coughs> Level 1 bedroom object. Bedroom object. How much money have we got? 160. Let's buy the wooden footrest recipe. Okay. Do I need to go into my inventory and read that? Yes, I do. So, crafting. Ooh, decoration? No, don't have any decorative items. That's unfortunate. Uh, wooden footrest. Build. And place. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Let's maybe, maybe put that there. Um, so that has a prestige, a decoration of two. What do I need to get? Stinky Shed Prestige to level two. Can I have a quick look at? Oh, I need to go to the thingy. Front desk. Sorry. Details. Prestige level 1. 4 out of 15. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that's 6 guest requests. Holy cow. I wonder if I can build another... Um, I'm trying not to scare him too much. i build another shed. i uh, build another uh, bedroom. Uh, what's the minimum? 2 by 3? Oh dear. So the cost is going to be 60 for that. Pop a door there. Pop a bed there. It's very similar to my bedroom growing up. Uh, that will cost 60, which is good, which means we'll have... And that will presumably up the prestige as well, because the bed has a prestige, has a decoration level. I'm going to guess, anyway. So now let's go over to the front desk. I cannot help but feel this front desk is in the wrong place. Details, so that's 6 out of 15. Oh. Let's, bedroom requests. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to go for one day, let's assign you to that bedroom. Ah, ah, I can't be in the thingy. <laughs> get the dinky ship prestige to level 2. Okay, so, yeah, but how do I get, how do I earn gold? Oh, I see, I earn gold through guests, don't I? <laughs> I'll get this one day, I promise. This whole game thing. Ooh, what's this? Oh, hello. Hi. Whoa there, big fella. Where'd you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? All right, enough of the questions. What are you after? Sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans-like. Something that would make them feel more... Distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble. <laughs> Uh, no, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. My colossal companion. I got what you need. 
You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. <laughs> Great, let me just have a look at your dumpster. That's a fat bozo. How do you know I can, how do I know I can trust you? My um authoritative height? I have used that I've used that excuse before. Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in the gutter before noon. Although, I do spend a lot of time down there. But, you got to be approved before I can sell you anything. Tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. <laughs> Find me a snack and then we can talk. Alrighty. Ooh, this building appears to be open and lootable. Nom 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 nom. An electronics pile. They destroyed something. I didn't even read it before looting it. Uh, where am I going to find a sandwich? The bus depot. Oh, the bus depot, of course. Oh, I'm going to have to talk to this person now. Hello. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I would agree, you're the rarer sight. I like your hair. <laughs> Soft bear noises. <laughs> mm, what a kind looking bud you are. <laughs> I'm Oliver. I run the buses here, if that wasn't evident. Eh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. D do you take the bus? What's a bus? And I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? <laughs> My old bear noise. <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't either. <laughs> you know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send. <laughs> but I can't just leave my buses. <laughs> and there's been no post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. <laughs> do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? And give this to Beanie for me? Cool, yeah. Scratched envelope. She usually hang around at the Firewatch Tower. <laughs> All right, <laughs> soft bear noises. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Trash. Ooh. Also trash. Wait, is there a is there trash that I'm just not picking up? Oh, is this trash that the humans left? <laughs> Bet it's human trash, isn't it? Uh, where is... Ooh! More resources! Excellent. I'm just going to go on a scavenge. Oh, oh, I'm stuck on a mushroom. There we go. Uh, oh, I can't get past. <laughs> There's some wicked looking... Wicked sounding uh, things coming from behind this tree. Take all that. Can I go through here? No. Okay. I can. What's up here? Oh, more resources. Lovely. Oh, no, no, no. Stuff. So am I disturbing this person in bed? Oh no, they're there. That's fine. Hi. <coughs> oh, hello. I don't believe we've met before. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. <laughs> this game's adorable. <laughs> With my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. <laughs> oh good, physical, physical activity is always a great idea. <laughs> Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. <laughs> oh yeah? And what am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just yunking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way out here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Oh, Sabine. Or Sabine, if you're my mum. But I like the Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me this letter for you. Oh, Ollie, such a sweetheart. He did seem it. 
No wonder he trusted you. Let me see. I like the moon, like, <laughs> rising in the background. Oh, I can't believe you found it. Oh, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. Though, I understand the resemblance. No, no, no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. Uh, he had barely gotten his driver's license, and I, I had a much smaller hat. <laughs> We mapped out the whole valley, <laughs> figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. The fire? I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. The compass. Awesome. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Nice. The compass. You've obtained the compass, which unlocks the area map for you. Uh, the area map can be accessed through the map button next to the mini-map. Oh, okay, that one. <clears throat> the area map shows all the important landmarks and markers in the vicinity. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Can I zoom out? No. Whew, it's, just, it's a lot of wood piles over there. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Cool. So there's an entrance. A bus stop. He's great. <laughs> I'm getting that impression, definitely. Ooh, area exit, wood pile. There's some nice wood piles over there. Oh, there's so much wood in here. Oh, there's a blocked off area. Okay. What that building is? Interesting. Well, that does tell me the time. Good, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Well, I'm just gonna sleep here. <laughs> just gonna pass out in there. <laughs> Gotta run well, walk. <laughs> Oh, one guest has arrived. I forgot about the guests. I forgot about the bed of breakfast. <laughs> right, let's, oh, I'm stuck again. Let's go. I'm pressing the right button. Yeah. Uh, where am I going? Ah, yes, I'm going back to Oliver. Oh, Oliver's Oliver's lunchbox. Yoink. <laughs> Hi, Oliver. <clears throat> I assumed I had to I had to do the quest to get the lunch. To be honest with you. Back already, bud? Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Uh, yes, I did. Affirmative bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud. Oh, bear, sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud, she found the rest of it. That's incredible. Drawing all this out was with her was the most fun I've ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Of course. <laughs> look, there's Sawdust and High Lake, and look, this is where we are. Uh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. <clears throat> I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit here on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me on my buses in a long time, but with all the new folks starting to visit and all, I think you should have this and look, see where these old bus stops are. If you manage to fix these up, like you did with the old storage shed, oh, you know about that. I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears even have pockets for money anyway. Delicious hydration. Ooh, progression. Uh, two bus signs. Awesome. And an atlas. Nice. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Uh, ready? Well, first I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get back to uh, is it Took? Took. So, did you find any grub? Yep, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, we called mustard. That's all I could find. Just like mum used to make. Alright, you brutish charmer. 
I'll let you buy my special slice of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinky human stuff. Uh, Tux Garbage. Stock update. Tux Garbage has new items available. Good. I mean, real valuables. What am I having for free? You said you'd give me something for free. So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time. Dumpster diving. <clears throat> oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, 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 it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And there was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not going to snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't you seen... Haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran after the big inferno. Uh, yeah, we used to never be... <laughs> It's just in chat. Took legally distinct from any Nintendo character. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? It's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folks busy in the process. Listen, I got plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if we don't get any of those rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for their kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I'm, I am raccoons. <laughs> it is me. I am raccoons. Uh, I'm just getting the hang of it. That sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep him distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was he was here when this place was built. Who knows what kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Uh, ready? Garbage Tux Dumpster is the old one-stop shop for decorative items. Uh, Tuck accepts valuables as currency. The world is littered with them. Literally. <coughs> Guests also leave behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative items from Tuck. Nice. Uh, so I have <laughs> 102 valuables. Just a, just a, uh, an apple core. <laughs> um, so what, what have we got? We've got a cardboard box, old drawers, a janky floor mirror, a small nightstand, scuffed cupboard cabinet, a small oil lamp. Well, welcome, Matt. A small potted prayer plant, a flower vase, an oil wall lamp, a small geometric rug, and a small bear painting. 100% small bear painting. Welcome, Matt. We'll have a couple of oil lamps, I think. What else do I want? We'll have some vases as well, why not? Some small potted plants, sorry. And some small oil lamps. Or well, a small oil lamp, I should say. <coughs> and a small nightstand to put one of the oil lamps on. Alright, that seems good to me. Let's go decorate. So we should also have another human. Oh. Ah, you don't see me. I'm not a bear. Uh, inventory. Welcome, mats. That, can that go? Oh, no, that can't go. Oh, can I lower the walls? Let me just exit that. No, I want to see... No, no. I want the door out of the way. <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. I want it placed properly. Oh, there's no middle. Oh, curses. No, well, it's going to go there. Um, small bear painting. Let's just raise the walls a little bit. Small bear painting. There. Um, what are the wall oil lamps? Let's put one here. And one... Oh, can I not rotate it? Oh, yeah, I can. Here. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh, loads of stuff. Small nightstand. I need to get rid of these walls again. 
nightstand. Boop. And a small oil lamp on said nightstand. Lovely. And these, uh, well, I could probably do with some tables to put these on, but right now they're just going to go like here and here. There you go. That's nice enough. Is there anything else I can craft? Front desk, wooden footrest. No, okay. Uh, I can't craft anything. No. Alright, lovely. Let's just have a quick look. Sorry, sorry. At the prestige. Oh, we've reached prestige level 2. Lovely. Excellent stuff. Oh, hello, Tony. Oh, hello again, my child. <laughs> I mean, uh, my favourite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have it on good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you, oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well... Yeah, marvellous. The old travelled kiosk is the jewel of timber crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Uh, so kind of like the pyramids. <laughs> no, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallel. There you go. A rectangle what? <laughs> Just same well. So I think we should spruce it up like we did uh, with the shed, and then it'll attract more humans to get us even more money, right? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son. Student. Uh, yes, that's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clean up the place of all the rubble, and we'll get to building. Uh, have I not already done that? Nope. Okay. Let's repair. Oh, what's this? Garbage. 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 Nope. I didn't mean to speak to Will then. Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> wow, they leave so much garbage around. Uh, yes, let's fix a bus station. Bus station. A new bus station is now available. You can now fast travel here. Excellent. And then clean up the kiosk. Which I think is... Uh, Let's sleep, it's getting dark. There we go, lovely. Um, so, kiosk. Kiosk? Kiosk. Where is kiosk? Where is going to be kiosk? How do you find kiosk? Boop. Map. Oh, that's the kiosk. It's right next to the dumpster. Got it. Well, there's possibly just a little bit of trash in here now. I'll have all of you. And I'll have all of you. There we go. It's clean. The kiosk is clean. And some garbage. And some more garbage. Wow, humans are filthy creatures. They are just... Splashing litter all over the place. What else we got? Uh, how much money do we have? Oh, wow! 492! Let's buy that. Do I need a shabby wooden bed recipe? Sure, why not? Oh, more. Oh, no, that's my painting. It's just floating in midair there. Um, right, what, am I, what am I doing here? Let's just go have a quick talk with Oliver first about the buses. Ollie on the buses. Where do... Ah, there you are. Hello. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Affirmative bear noises. Proving bear noises. That's great news. Oliver seems like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Tuck, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Oh, great. 
Yay, climate change. Listen, anytime you come across one of those stops, give it a wash, slap on a sign, and boom, you'll dry I'll drive you there anytime. I've got Oliver's toolbox has new items available. Uh, bus stations. Broken bus stations can be found throughout the world. Repairing a bus station in an area unlocks fast travel to and from that location. Uh, bus posters can be found in Oliver's shop, amongst other oddities and progression items. Let's go have a look at Oliver's shop. How do you... Oh, I pressed the wrong button this way. <laughs> bus sign and loggers tools. Useful for clearing up piles of bramble and wood. Only costs 100. Uh, yeah, why not? What's this? Can I go here yet? I can't open this yet. Oh. Got me some loggers tools. Oh, and some more wood here. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, yeah, tickle. So, what does this actually do? Oh, plus one request per day. Oh, I, I have all of that. Cool, yeah, confirm. Let's, let's build a toilet. Nice. Luxurious facilities for the unassuming. Definitely an attractive proposal for anyone in an emergency. Plus one extra guest requests per day in this area. Brilliant. Let's just have a quick look at some of the stuff we've got. Crafting. So we've got... Shabby pallet bed, which is five comfort to decoration, and normal bed, which is five comfort for decoration, and that costs those to build, which is fine. Um, so let's replace the beds we have. Boop. Uh, how do you remove? How do you remove? I don't know how to remove items. Inventory, build room. No, I'm already building room. Crafting, no, inventory. Pick that up, put it there. Pick one of those up, oops. Can you, can you imagine if you're staying in a hotel and they just literally change your bed while you're there? <laughs> oh, nope, that's exactly the same bed. Uh, rotate, there we go, lovely stuff. An old computer and a pen on a string because I have a just loot. I just need loot. That's it. I just do loot all the time. A window. How much did that cost? And another window. Oh, nothing. Excellent stuff. Uh, it's a part of me that wants to just scrap all of this and start again. I'm not going to lie. Um, rotate this this way so I can then... Actually, let's put it there. That can be the front desk. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good to me. There's part of me that wants to extend this room a little bit, but I think it's going to be a bit too expensive. Let's put this painting over. No. Hey, lovely. Uh, right, cleaning up the kiosk. So, all clean? Mm, yep, almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things that humans looked for at the kiosk. Uh, I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get them... Uh, need to get... Blah, blah. There's a few oddities I need to get it all together. I'll need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home I can use. There's also an old computer sitting under a tower in sawdust. I have that in my inventory. And some sort of writing apparatus. I have that in my inventory too. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great! Treasure hunt! Take your time, I'll put together everything else in the meantime. Um... Yeah, uh, oh, uh, get a book on spelling from the thicket. Got it. Oh, that means I have to go back to my house. And I think Hank's mum is going to be really annoyed at him. Because he's been gone for like a week. <laughs> Oh, I still can't get through any of this, can I? Can't get that washing machine. Yeah, this is just a straight line. Oh, hang on. Can I go? Oh, no, I can't go that way. There's still swamp in the way. That's unfortunate. Ah, the thicket. Is this where I need the loggers tools? I can't quite remember. 
Oh, oh, right, I see. So I have to buy individual loggers tools. It's not, that's not like a, an item I can continually use. There's always something to do around the house. Anyone that tells you different has never looked behind their fridge. <laughs> oh no, I'm Margaret. <laughs> Uh, well, it says in. Oh, I need. Where are the walls? There they are. <laughs> a book. A book. A book. A book. A book on spelling from the thicket. This is Will and Thingy's room, isn't it? Ah. Nope, that's a lamp. Ah! Book on spelling. There it is. Lovely. Right, let's leave. Then get back to where we were. Do, 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 do. The art style in this is lovely. I feel like I'm kind of playing a cartoon. <laughs> Look at his little ears bouncing as he walks. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think the um, the intro was slightly unnerving because there was that whole uh, thunder cracking, rain pouring sort of vibe. But otherwise, it, it feels quite delightful. So I've got all of that. <laughs> Fetch quest three ways. <laughs> I like that. Uh, all right, got it. Now, were you able to find everything? It took a while, but here you are. It really didn't take a while. Oh, yes, yes. This is everything I need. Yeah, won't take long. Tink, tink, tink. Tink, tink, tink. Oh, it's a kiosk. It's an information kiosk. Got it. Just like new. Do I... Do I talk to you now? The inauguration. Talk to Tuck to inaugurate the kiosk. Hey, up. Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd see this. What? Excuse me? Look who here. Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in a dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Anyway, you did good, kid. <laughs> I'm having more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm pointing a good word with you, the big cheese. Do you mean Oliver? <laughs> Alright, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. <laughs> I'll tell her. You, I'll tell her to drop by sometime. <laughs> Tuck's garbage has new items. Lovely. Yum. Tuck is off. <laughs> Hank, Hank, where are you? Ah, I'm here. Hello. Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony, and then he told me how to find some lumber, and then we made a bed for humans, and... And where did you find the alligator weed? Where did you find the alligator weed? You guys have been here the entire time! <laughs> you guys have literally been stood here the entire time I've been doing this. Oh no, we didn't find any of that, just pine and plywood. Any minute now. But we also had to use some cotton. Hank, yes? <laughs> Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we have to get home. I've already been home. <laughs> Mom's totally fine. <laughs> Unlocking shop contents. Completing quests and progressing through the story unlocks more items and sale for shops. Blueprints and cooking recipes only need to be bought one time. Once learned, they will disappear from the shop. Cool. Let me just very quickly, because I don't think anyone's staying in the room at the minute. Boop. Yeah, and we have seven guest requests. Uh, two days, that'll do. You can go to bedroom one. 
and two days. Comfort one, decoration three. Comfort five, decoration four. Excellent. You can go to that room. Boop. Ah, it's good being a manager of bed and breakfast. I mean, a fictional digital bed and breakfast. <laughs> Not not a real one. That's not a business line I want to go down. Oh, Lord, it's dark. Oh, oh it got real dark real fast. Follow the lights. Oh. Follow the lights. The thicket. Thank you, kids. Thank you. Where have you been? My goodness gracious. I was here literally this morning. Are you alright? Did something happen? Uh, I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. Alright, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you? I didn't even say anything. <laughs> you put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mum, Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days! <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. The what? And we're helping! I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're going to get more to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and... And I get to make stuff for them. Me, Tony taught me how to build a bed, and I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there's nothing that could keep you around anyway. Oh, I don't say that one. I'm not going anywhere. I just feel it's nice to do something out there for a change, something helpful. Same, Hank, same. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we go check on our humans. A trucker's cap. Alright, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. Now, go get some rest. What did I say completed? Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Anton. Oh, don't get up for me. I can see just right from here. What? Uh, let's just say you made the right impression to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. Relax, it's a good thing. It is. The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite the impact on my trash-talking associate. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping up that keeping that up, the way the old road's been cleared. I, I screwed that sentence up. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Uh. <laughs> or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. New routes unlocked towards the A24. Pow. That was weird. <laughs> That what you're right. That was weird. <laughs> Have I got anything in the room I can take? What's this? A pillow. Oh, that's just a lamp. Ready? I think my phone just vibrated. I've also got it on silent. Boop 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 boop. Put that on charge. It's dangerously low on charge. Uh, uh, oh, where am I going? Oh, I need, I'm just going south on her. Oh, hello, Will. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. Yeah, we, we've heard that. Is there anything else in here I can do? Do do. Other than turn lights on and off, obviously. Uh, I don't think there is. Nice kitchen. What's that? I don't know any cooking recipes. Eh, fair enough. I feel you, Hank. I feel you. 
Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. Oh, God. Uh, okay, so let's go south to Timber Crossing. Uh, south of Timber Crossing to enter the A24. Oh, so I, I need to fast travel to this bit. I'm going to try and get some logging tools as well to try and clear the back of the yard. Dun, 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 dun. God, this game's lovely. I saw it. Um, I think I saw it advertised for Switch. And I was like, oh, that looks like a nice game. <laughs> you could be a nice table. But I didn't realise it was... Um, I don't think it's like a new, new game. I think it's been out for a, a, a while. Oh, who's there? Why, this, this is quite unexpected. Why, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. Hmm? That's all right. You're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Apologetic bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dearie. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a... Uh, a joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Uh, I've lived here all my life. Bear noises. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Oh, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? I might have put a few things together. Built it with my own two paws. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. You can guarantee it. Barbara seems nice. I like Barbara. At the moment, I like Barbara. There could be something sinister, but who knows. Um, so we've got guests. That's good. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to frighten anyone. Uh, ah, oh yeah, I forgot to talk to Finn, didn't I? Property prestige is the principal proof of the prominent plot. Press the green button. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. <laughs> more prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. And what am I doing now? Congratulations, it seems your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you're earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door, door salesman, <laughs> you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Porn Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Uh, complete a stay for at least plus one more guests. Okay. Oh, there's nothing. So, wait, where we go? Oh, I'm going south, Anna. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me... Go and have a look at some of the uh, decorative garbage. Also, check out the uh, thingy, the tourist thing. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's. A, whoops, that's unfortunate. <laughs> just uh, some of the wall items are just clipping through my head. Oh wow, we have a lot. Uh, possum clock, 
We have uh, medium red rug, small potted plant. Did I pl did I buy a rug earlier? I thought I bought a rug earlier. A level two decorative item, fourteen. Let's go. A, a medium red rug. These all look very nice. Small abstract painting, small blue rug, a retro jukebox. How much is that? A hundred and fifty garbage. Wowzers. Very rustic coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's very, very broken. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't need to bother them with uh, uh, being a bear. If I'm just going to my inventory, grabbing this rug, and putting it, I, I don't know, there. There you go. Oh, it's going to be right near the welcome mat, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Ugh. There's left garbage in the in the hotel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I get too close to them, they get frightened. I don't know if that has a negative effect. Let's go this way. What possibly what could possibly happen? What could go wrong if a bear just starts walking down a highway? Nothing. That's what could possibly go wrong. Absolutely nothing. So this is the A24, hmm? What's what's here? Ooh, some stone by the look of it. This place is massive. Yep, this place is pretty big. Whoa, it's huge. Okay. Poop. Um, let's go collect some stuff. Ooh, porcelain chunks and stone bricks. Nom 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 resources. Nom, nom. Oh, there's the dump. Uh, what's over here? I'm just glancing over at the minimap as well. Is this more stones? More stones. Delicious. Oh, I'm just going to loot this through the fence. <laughs> Ooh, a chest. Oh, nice. A retro jukebox. Lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. I had my eye on one of those. Now I don't need to purchase it. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Uh, that bit's blocked off, I think. Oh, there's some trash here. Oh, what's that? Oh, synthetic sheets. Wow, how exciting. Do I have an inventory limit? Yeah, but I've, no, I'm not near it yet. That's good. Whew. How do you open? How do you get in? Oh, apparently I don't yet. Oh, a lovely uh, trash washing machine. Let's do that. Some more resources over here. Get this. Get this. Yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy this. <laughs> Not that I wasn't to begin with, but... Ooh, lovely. Um, I didn't know... What's this? Gas pump. Plus one request per day. Yeah, I can't fix that yet. Um, I didn't quite know what to expect. Ooh, looks refreshing. Okay, come on then, let's have a talk Talk to you. Ah, I can't. There we go. Ipswich. I've got the best deals anywhere. <laughs> like Ipswich's uh, vest. <laughs> Is something I heard a guy say once. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't open this yet. Oh, fine. <laughs> That's a, a not open shop at the minute. Is this trash? No. Is this trash? No. I should just look on the minimap, to be honest with you. There we go. Ooh, more stuff. Oh, hello. What's, what is this? Terry Finn. Come one, come all to our annual celebration. Finn? Finn? Join the joyous jubilation and celebrate the things that make life worth living. Our special offers and exclusive discounts. You're not Finn. Of course I am. I am Terry Finn. Because I get up every day feeling just Terry Finn. You're a different kind of annoying. So is it Terry or Finn? Having two first names is an egregious marketing offence that only leads to customer confusion. <laughs> Parental advice materials should include branding guidelines. 
I'm always saying that. <laughs> My name is conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists. It's just, it's just like mine. <laughs> Based on current cultural and pun-friendly trends. As nature intended. Just like my chat. <laughs> Porn Voyage would like to commemorate this very sad yet lucrative past year uh, by bringing you a festive, the festive winter spirit in purchasable form. Special shop has new items. Well, I'm a sucker for a little festive versions of everyday things. Yoink. Uh, red floppy hat. <laughs> festive polar sweater. Wow, these are very expensive. Hoo boy. So we can buy Christmas items here. Good. I've just remembered I have a hat and I'm not wearing it. There we go. Oh, look, I look so good. <laughs> Hank looks amazing. What's that noise? I'm just busy looting some stuff. Getting some rocks and some porcelain slabs. Looting some things. There's a truck can here. Do, do, do. Barbara's looking out over the car park. Barbara's car park. Parking some cars. Maybe that's how she makes a living. Oh, chest. A possum clock. Possibly made out of a real possibly made out of a real possum. Some garbage. What's in here? What's this? Nothing. Oh no, not nothing. Moldy chest. Travel itinerary. A leather bound book teeming with information. Yoink. That seems like a good quest item for later. Oh, a monument. A metal biker bear. Plus one request per day. I don't have the equipment for it. I don't have the equipment. Trash? Nope. Is that just trash? Yep. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> Left foot, right foot, just keep going. Your bones can't ache if they don't have time to think about it. <laughs> yes, I, I kind of agree with that. Ooh, oh, Tuck's garbage. Are these new? No, these are just different ones. Oh, okay, cool. So I can. More garbage. Um, I can use any dumpster to buy Tuck's garbage from. It's an interesting proposal. Ooh, a crafting table. Uh, uh, not yet. I think. I don't think I need to. Oh, motel sign. Uh, Tony's construction service. No available instructions. Okay. I'm just gonna go in and loot all of this. At least, uh, Tony the Tuck. Uh, the Tuck. The Tuck. Uh, didn't ask me to take a loan out like uh, Tom Nook in uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, what's that? <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm just gathering just trash that's on the floor now. Oh wait, I can lower the walls, can't I? There we go. Uh, ah, trash. It's very dark all of a sudden. I'm going to sleep. Ding, ding. More garbage. Ooh, a Pont Voyage store. I'm assuming. Ooh, the A24 placket. There are no tasks to be done in this area at the moment. Okay. That, however, can be looted. And there's no blueprints to be purchased. Wow, this, this bit of the map is huge. How do... So I'm now back to where Terry Finn was. Is that... Wi-Fi, trucks, pets okay. <laughs> I definitely don't have Wi-Fi here. Not at the minute, anyway. So we're now back to where Terry Finn is, with his festivities. And I'm now going to go back to... Yeah, let's go here. What's that? Trash. Uh, hi, Anton. Oh, no. That's... Not, oh, Claire. Not there, either. He either skipped town again, or this... this or is lining to ditch somewhere. 
And that boy... That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole, but he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh-oh, ten o'clock, Chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is that a problem, boss? No, not yet, anyway. How do you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. Wow. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. <laughs> yeah, it really is thinner up there, isn't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Well, I kind of need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Ha! <laughs> what place? This place! Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't heard all the questions yet. My collaboration up north says... My collaborator up north says you're up to something good. Bringing people back up to the valley. That's good news for everyone. But we've got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9pm near the Black Moth border. We were out doing the scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around, and there was no Wade. Just a low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. Which I've already had customers. I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here, if you get his weight back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I check first. Nah, I wouldn't be sitting around here if I were you. Uh, okay. Does that mean I can go in here now and I'll do it? Late. <laughs> Lots of trash. Lots of trash. So much trash. What does this take? I don't know how to use this yet. This looks like a recycling machine. Trash, 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 glorious trash. What's that? Ooh, I can loot that through the wall. Excellent. What is this? Looks like a good place to hide a body. Fair enough. Oh, so I can't get into the actual, like, dump dump. Oh, there's more trash there. And more trash there. So many valuables. Uh, okay, let's go try and find Wade. So we've got, uh, go back to Wade and a good check. Complete the stage for at least one, plus one more guests in Timber Crossing. So let's go back. Oh, there's, uh, that's okay. So, loggers tools. We have two hundred and forty two coins. Could buy loggers tools. I'm gonna buy some loggers tools actually. Oh, did I just buy that? No, I didn't. Uh, oh, I need to put it in an actual space space. Boop, boop. There we go. Ching. Trash. Oh, don't scare the guests. Let's go back to... So that's ongoing. The Good Shed one is ongoing. That's good. Um, let's go back to... The Thicket via Black Moss. I'll go through to Black Moss. I'll go through to the Thicket first. If I can, obviously. Um, and then I will unlock the... Uh, uh, 
back section of the house using the loggers tools and then I'll go back to Black Moss to look for Wade. And this is probably an excellent time to, uh, to, to reset slightly and just to welcome everyone who's uh, tuning in and thanking everyone for their support during this three day live stream for In Aid of Mind, uh, the UK mental health charity. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Addy just just <laughs> rubbing herself on the ground. <laughs> um, yes, my name is Mike Smith. Uh, my name is Peripheral Mike, and this is a three-day uh, charity event for Mind in the UK, the mental health charity. So we're doing 15 hours in aid of the one in 15 people who will attempt suicide in their lifetime. Uh, being a past and current sufferer of mental health issues, I think it's an excellent charity to support. So I'm doing what I can in the capacity that I'm able to. Um, so 15 hours, this is the third of three sets of live streams on Friday. All of these are going to be on YouTube. On Friday, we played Garden Simulator. On Saturday, for five hours. On Saturday, for five hours, we played Potion Craft. And today, for five hours, running until about 1 p.m. BST. 10, 11, 12, 1. So for those three hours or so, we're going to be playing Bear and Breakfast. Um, if you are able to donate, that's absolutely fantastic. I'll stick a link in to chat right now. If you can't, that's absolutely fine. Um, and just tuning in and supporting is absolutely wonderful as well. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Uh, now I'm going to go and unblock this rear section. So large bramble heap. Uh, confirm. Excellent. This path is now clear. I think that means I've just done a quest I didn't need to do. Two sword dust. Oh, okay. Is that... So that's a shortcut then? Is that a shortcut? Is this a bridge that I can go over? No, it's not. Let's go see what's up here. Does this mean I can just get directly to sword dust? Yeah, it is. It's just a shortcut. Cool. Okay, well, shortcuts are always good. Do, 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 do. Let's go loot some stuff. I say loot. They're just resources lying around. I do. I do feel like it's a uh, like a DIY warehouse, like a B and Q warehouse that's just exploded in the woods. That's why there's so many piles of timber everywhere. It's a bit dark. <laughs> mixed mixed with I'm looking over at the OBS screen and it looks fine. Mixed with the studio lights that I've got pointed at my face, it feels like it's a very dark section of the, of the game. I can just see just around Hank, um, the character, the bear, uh, and I'm just using the mini map to to collect all of the resources. I know I saw some up here. I did see some. We're going to collect these and then head back to Black Moss to try and find Wade. Find out what happened to Wade the rat. Oh, use the, use the thing. Use the mini-map, Mike. It's there for a reason. Oh, I'm stuck on a log. <laughs> Genuinely stuck on a log. There we go. Ugh. Oh god. There we go. So that leads me back there. Good. Good, good. <laughs> Going to Platmas. It's interesting. I wonder what this is then. Like. I wonder if I can get over there at some point. <laughs> Sorry, bear with me. There's a weird uh, mystical sound 
coming from this statue. <laughs> Odd looking fella. <laughs> Can I read what that says yet? No, can't read what it says. Oh, it's so dark. I wonder if I need to go to Black Moss at night to find out what happened. Because they said they were doing it at 9 pm. That's what they said. What time is it now? Oh, it's midnight. Oh, okay. There's no way I can time travel to a specific time either. Oh, it's far too dark. I need to sleep. <laughs> Absolutely far too dark. I can't see a thing. <laughs> ding ding. Oh, I've uh, completed the um, the hotel quest. Good. So there's no way round that bit. Here. There's no way around here. I'm interested to know why I can't have my time. Oh, cool! I've got a weather forecast as well. I didn't realize that. Destroy couch. Early exit. Oh, Wade. Wade is somewhere around here. Wade's there. Oh, no. That's Twiggy. Oh, Twiggy and Wade. Right, so how do I get there? How do I get there? How do. Ah! This area exit. Can I see the world map? Ah, the A24. Got it. So I think I have to go back to the A24 in order to get to this part, this adjacent part of Black Moss. Go through the rock. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have to go there in order to get to uh, where Wade is. Do, 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 do. Oh, windy. That noise makes me cold. <laughs> like there's a bear sign. Right, so let's have a look at the map. So is there... Ah, there is. There's an exit there. Cool. Lovely stuff. This says, presumably, to Black Moss. However, there's also a pile of stones somewhere that I wanted to have a look at. Is there stones? No, there's no stones. There's the pile of stones. Charcoal lilies, a rare dark flower that only grows in certain ways. 250 gold? Lovely. I love that. We're picking all of these. Oh, they do say progression on them though, so I, I don't know if they're quest items. Although no, some items say quest on them, don't they? Progression... Quest, so not, not a quest item. But a... Sweep up that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can scavenge all of these flowers before I go to the actual quest bit. Although I wonder if these items are going to be for this person. For Wade. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Yep, take that, and that. Is this a repair the bridge sign by any chance? Oh, I can repair the bridge sign with some loggers tools. <laughs> no, I'm good. I wonder if I could repair it from the other side then, if it would have given me the option. Nope, can't repair that one, probably because this one's there. Oh, these, these delicious looking things. Uh, there's moss all over it. Okay. Oh, I love how matter of fact Hank is. Ooh, I don't know what is over here. 
I thought I was in the swamp then. I got a little bit worried. Okay, so I think I've looted all of that stuff. I think. Yeah. So let's go back to this hut. Can I get there from here? Uh, no, no, I can't. There's a, there's a crocodile wearing a witch's hat. I kind of love that, I'm not going to lie. Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down in the drain pipe. Bad mushrooms. Heard a noise coming from the trees. Oh, no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. It's pretty small. I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. <laughs> Oh, gosh, no, he's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets, someone came looking for that thing. You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Unfortunately. Come inside. I inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, someone who knows magic. Oh, look, there's Wade and somebody else. What are you? He's like a newt. Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Bart pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly, then what happened? We got the pieces and scrammed. Wow, and what was it like? Th the thing. Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rarest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. <gasps> wow. It's dank, too. Real bad. We think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Wow. <laughs> Twig, what did I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade. Are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. No, oh, yes, he is a festering, nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones.